Hey man, I'm screwing around. I should be changing the brakes on the van. I should be fixing my rifle. So of course, what I decided to do instead was go out and play with my tomahawk a little bit. And uh, I just decided I had to, to talk about it real quick. I have to update my one gun, one knife challenge. If you've watched that video of ours, you'll, you'll see I talk about my one gun, one knife. My one knife is actually a double bladed, full size double bladed ax. No more. It is this. I have been amazed at, at how effective a little tool this thing is. You can actually use it double handed. You can use it single handed obviously. Uh, I've been throwing it. It thunks. Uh, what a great little tool. Uh, I'll, I'll show you a little bit of chopping here in just a second. Uh, but uh, this is the cold steel rifleman tomahawk. I'm sorry if you didn't. We, we, we talked about this in our another video we just posted. So if, if you didn't see that video uh, that that's what this is about I got this for my birthday and uh, I was gonna wait and, and kind of play with it and and see how it did it does great <laughs> I mean it does great this is a real tool uh, and and of course it's a tomahawk uh, quick thing about the cold steel rifleman it's really big and heavy uh, if you plan to to stick it in you know the, the trunk of your car and just have it for what if and never use it I would recommend maybe getting the uh, the Trailhawk instead of the Rifleman. This is a big, heavy tool, and uh, I mean, I do a lot of chopping. I uh, I'm cutting all of our firewood by hand this year, so I'm using the axe for that. I've always split all of our firewood by hand, so I do a lot of swinging and chopping. And uh, even even for me, not that I'm all that, but I'm used to it. You know, it, I mean, I've got the calluses and muscle memory and everything. It's still a it's it's still a handful for one-handed use. It works really well double-handed. Uh, when I got it, I, I, I sharpened it up just a little bit, not much, but I sharpened it up just a hair, and I took the set screw out of the side. If you get this thing, do your homework on it. Uh, all, the, all the cold steel tomahawks have a little set screw in the side, and, uh, and the handle has to be cleaned up a little bit. You take that set screw off, because uh, if it's in there and you're, you're using it, all the weight and everything go, or the uh, impact goes against that set screw and it starts digging into your handle and wrecking it. So you got to take that set screw out. But uh, other than that, you, you'll find a bunch of videos on, on YouTube with guys, you know, uh, tricking them out and uh, making them look uh, authentic and everything. And they look really cool. I may do that at one point. Uh, but right now I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm thinking my, my oldest daughter just got engaged. And I'm thinking I might uh, get one of these for her fiance uh, uh, as a gift because uh, it represents so much of of how I view ma masculinity and manhood and everything I don't know but let's uh let's show you this little chop in here for just a second I'll just whack on this tree for a minute and you can see some chunks fly we won't waste too much of your time I don't know if it's the, the thin blade or if I really just have to sharpen my, my big axe better, but this thing for its size really chunks. I mean thunks and you get a chunk. This is about a 18 inch sweet gum. Boo! <laughs> Shucks, I did it again. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. I thought I had it aimed better than that. Dad gum it. Always on it always happens on camera. Uh it took me about uh well, it was definitely less than 10 minutes to chop and to, to, to put that tree down. It's about a 18 inch across uh, a diameter, about an 18 inch diameter tree on the stump. A little bit lower down, obviously. Uh, sweet gum. It's not popular. It's sweet gum, which is a decent, decent test. It's a decent wood. 
I hate it that I got it hung up though. Dang gum it. Now I gotta get it unhung. So there you go. It's a real tool. I mean, it's a real tool. Uh, at, at a remarkably manageable size with all the advantages of, you know, with a tomahawk, you can. You take the handle off and you actually have a workable knife. You know, I mean, you can use this as a knife to, to do little little stuff, you know, skinning or, or whatever. So just a just a great, great tool. Uh, really impressed with it. It is not a toy. It is a real tool. Uh, and one that's going to, to, to find all kinds of uses on my gear. It definitely replaces my one gun, one knife. It I, I wouldn't. You know, if I was just running into the woods and had to grab one gun and one knife, this is now it. Not 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 the double bitted axe anymore. Obviously, you know, if you're pioneering, you, you can't beat a full size tool for anything. But but for uh, a, a one gun, one blade, I guess is the better option. This is now it. We might do more about that later. Uh, update that video. I don't know. But I just want to show you this minute. It's a lot of fun. Really cool. I wanted to show a video of me throwing it, but there's just not a setup here. And obviously, my one surprise didn't work. I don't know, I could try to hit that big sweet gum from here. I don't know. That might not work. There you go. Two for two. Or 0 for two. It thunks, though. It thunks well. Thank you, man.